Hi, for anyone new to the channel, I'm Linda. And I'm Troy, and we are Wines, Pines, and Canines. All good things come to an end, and we are making our way on Interstate 40 back to our home base in North Carolina. Yes, but today's video is going to be all about the beginning, not the ending of our trip. So we chose Kanab, Utah to be kind of our base station for the majority of this. And in today's video, we're gonna let you know where we stayed. We're gonna show you around the town of Kanab and some of our favorite spots. And we're gonna let you know why we chose it. Now, Troy and I have been planning this trip for over a year, and we originally were focused on four major areas, Bryce, Zion, the North Rim of the Grand Canyon, and the Page and Lake Powell area. And our original plan was to kind of spend three or four days in each area and just kind of move around. But after doing some research, those plans changed. Yeah, the more I looked at what I wanted to accomplish and the distances between each location, I found that a central location like Kanab was perfect. Although it wasn't terribly close to anything but Zion, it was tolerable and it meant that we didn't have to pack it up and travel and spend loose and lose quality time moving around every three or four days. Now some days, um, some of the places were, you know, about an hour to an hour and a half, especially Bryce and the North Rim of the Grand Canyon. But honestly, this whole area was like a scenic byway no matter where you went. So even the drives were worth it. So right now we're gonna go ahead and show you some quick snippets of all the places that we kind of went to and the time that was involved in those. And all of these will be featured in upcoming videos. So the town of Kanab is quaint. It's very picturesque. It's similar if you've had the opportunity and lucky, lucky enough to go to Moab, Utah, kind of on the same lines. Not huge, but very nice. We stayed in an RV park that was about five minutes outside of town. It was an absolute perfect location. Yes, it's um, absolutely beautiful area. Lots of the red rocks and the hills and the canyons. So um, right now we're gonna take a quick drive through the town where we're gonna point out some of our favorite stops while we were there. And then we're going to come back and we're going to tell you about two unique experiences we had inside of Kanab and then we'll talk about where we stayed and why. So coming into town, you're going to find the Grand Staircase Escalante Visitor Center. Now this is a great place for current information on hikes and road conditions. In 
And if you're in the mood for Mexican, I highly recommend Escobar's. But be advised, folks, they are strangely closed on Saturdays. But if you are craving the old school experience of a burger, fries, and a shake, we truly enjoyed Big Al's after our long day in the Grand Staircase Escalante. And if you're like me, you love Cuban food, and Cabana Havana in town did not disappoint. It was exceptional. So I realized pretty quickly I was going to need good hiking boots to take full advantage of the area. Luckily, the Willow Canyon Outdoor Shop has a great selection of hiking apparel. We also tried Wild Time Cafe before leaving town. One night we had exceptional shrimp tacos. And one of the things we recommend when you first come into town is to check out the visitor center. And it had a lot of information on hikes and things to do in the area. And finally, Make sure to check out the food truck called Sunny Creek Coffee. We bought lunch and breakfast there a few times on our way out of town and we were never disappointed. Well guys, we are back in North Carolina. Yes, but back to Kanab. Um, one of the things we really liked about the town is there were a lot of quick and um, you know, fun to do hikes in the area, and we did two of them, which we're going to talk about now. Yeah, the first one was a trail called the Dinosaur Tracks Trail. It's the first thing I did. I did this one by myself. It's found all over on alltrails.com. Lots of reviews. It'll get you plenty of directions and photography to see if it's a nice trail. It's really accessible for just about everybody. So we're going to go back in time and see that morning. Good morning from Kanab, Utah. In a few moments, I'm going to go on a short hike up onto the top of a mesa. So we're going to go find the tracks of a 180 million year old dinosaur called the Growlator. It's just outside Kanab, like two or three miles. It's literally on the outskirts of town. Ought to be a lot of fun. It's not terribly cool, but it is early in the morning. Let's go see him. This is a lot of fun. It is a pretty serious climb though, but the, the views are beautiful. Here's the tracks of the growl of the tour up on top of this mesa. Not a bad hike. Beautiful view. This is probably the deepest track and the most pronounced one I could find. It's still pretty big. It's about 0.7 of a mile, and it'll take you 15 to 20, maybe as long as 30 if you take your time. And it's about 250 feet of elevation gain. But it's a really nice payoff, and it's just a, a great time for just about everybody. Now, the second one we went on was the Moki Sand Caverns. Um, this one, once again, is just right outside of town. Now, All Trails, once again, has this one listed at about a mile long and um, as a moderate hike, mainly because you got to be climbing up some rock face. On the way back towards Kanab, we stopped at the Moki Sand Caverns. They're right on the side of the road and right around the corner from the um, Moki, Cave. Moki Caves. Anyway, you got to scurry up a concrete rock face and make your way across a little um, mesa kind of thing. It's not terribly hard. It's a little sketchy though if you're not used to climbing. So you got to be careful of that, but it was a lot of fun. And Troy was carrying Desi in a little uh, backpack carrier on the front because while it is dog friendly, most dogs don't want to go up that thing. So we didn't give him the choice. <laughs> yeah, he went. But it was uh, so cool inside. You're so far up. So we're going to show you some views. And just so you know, it is free. It's on the side of the road. You can just park and climb up the side.
So those were the Moki Sand Caverns. Now, a uh, few things. I don't know that I would have done it if I hadn't have bought my new hiking boots that morning. Um, they really, you really need the proper footwear to be able to kind of grip the side of those rocks. Yeah, she's like Spider-Woman now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I felt like. Um, also, I don't know that I would have done it if it had been super hot out. You get a pretty good elevation gain and, you know, you 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 do do you do have a bit of a workout to get up the side there. Yeah. Um, and third, if you are scared of heights, um, both of these hikes are, you know, pretty high up. Yeah, if you're um, not used to it, sure. Yeah, I, I don't love heights, um, but so it was a little unnerving, especially coming down on that sand cavern, but huge experience. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I don't think, yeah. uh, I loved it. I loved it. So I'm very glad I did it and got over any fears I might have had. Mm -hmm. So lastly, where did we stay? Now we had a great stay at the Grand Plateau RV Resort. It's about five minutes outside of town. It sits really nicely up on a bluff where our spot was. So we had incredible sunsets and we're surrounded by red rocks that are so just iconic of the area. It was one of the best RV spots we've ever locked down. And we will have a detailed video of the RV park coming up here um, directly as well. But I um, wanted to talk about, you know, why we chose to you know stay in an rv park instead of boondocking and there is all kinds of dispersed camping up and down highway 89 yeah it's everywhere yeah from page to bryce uh we saw spots but you know i mean we were coming a long ways um yeah. 2400 miles yeah the focus was definitely to enjoy the area and we had to cover a lot of ground and it just made it more convenient yeah we didn't want to have to worry about you know would we be able to find a spot wouldn't we you know, where could we get water? Where could we dump? And we were going to be there two full weeks. And mm -hmm. we got a break uh, if we stayed like on a weekly rate. So we decided. Very reasonable. Yeah. This first time being out there, we decided we were just going to go ahead and pay the fee and do the RV park and make it as easy as possible on ourselves. Yeah, it was a wonderful stay. Yeah. So truly enjoyed it. And um, we'll have more of these upcoming videos. So if you'd like to see more, please remember to. Like and subscribe. And Desi here. He always wants you to hit that notification bell.